Alright, so now we have the uh, first and second rows merged, and we need to start putting in our uh, page title. So we're going to put in our page title here as column 201 and then photo gallery page. And again, we're going to select this across the top here, and we're also going to put it in uh, heading one. Maintaining that consistency is a vital part, or the repetition, is, as you've learned in the previous sections here on our pages. Uh, and then we can go down to our first row. And in this one, we're going to show you how to put in or insert pictures or graphics, and also how to link those, uh, those pictures or graphics. Um, so the first thing I want to do is uh, center this cell. So when we insert our photo, it's going to go into the center. So I'm going to double click again inside the second row. And we want to be under cells listed right here. And we're going to change both the vertical and horizontal here. I'm going to change the vertical to top and this to center. And then we're going to select OK. And now that should put our cursor blinking right here in the middle of the page. And in a previous unit, you created a uh, final uh, project, a photo, and we're going to insert that graphic here. And again, at the beginning of this tutorial, you moved those graphics that you made in, in using GIMP into uh, your images folder. So those should be in this root website of our folder here. And we can go right up here to image, and we're going to select image, and we're going to try to find the location. Uh, it's really important, again, that you understand that we are not uh, downloading or importing this photo. This photo is, is only going to be linked here. And the link is only as good as you maintain that same location of the file. So when we move that whole root folder, it's imperative that the images folder goes with it. Uh, with that said, we're going to select choose file. And under choose file, uh, we want to find our website. And again, uh, under here, under um, documents and for my website and I'm going to go to COM201 course last name and then into images folder and again we want the final project and you can hear see here I have this set up as a list view so I can see all my file names and I just generically name them picture one picture two picture three picture four you know the order that you completed all of these pictures and that's the order you're going to put them in on your page so you want to find that graphic that you made or turned in for your final picture project and you're going to select open and that's going to put the file here and you can see here images backslash and then COM201 that's the file location so it's going to look inside the images folder and then find this file and changing any of these things will change this link and could potentially break the link and you want to make sure that you understand that uh, under here under alt text again we want to put in some type of text to display in case the picture doesn't load properly uh, so we're going to uh, put in a type of alt text and you can do anything that kind of describes this I'm going to be generic here and just put in final uh, picture project and I'd also like you to make sure you put in a period again for those uh, text reading programs for people with disabilities it helps them to stop reading and know where to stop to make it easier on the user uh, then we want to select the dimensions tab over here and we're going to change this from actual size and you can see here the actual size is really large 500 by 300 pixels it's going to be too big to display on our page we don't want to do that uh, we're actually going to put in a thumbnail view so we're going to select custom here under custom size and keeping that box constrained what constrained means is that when you change either the width or the height it's going to change it proportionally down to make it uh, the picture not look distorted in any way and we're going to change this uh, the width here to 175 and you're going to see here that the 175 is, is a good height you're, you're, or put, we'll put the height at a, a good height here at 105 and then having the width here stay at 175 uh, and you can see here the appearance we're not going to do anything under this there's a concept or technique called image mapping which we're not going to get into right now uh, so we can skip over that one and go right to link and what I'd like to show you is that we're going to link from that small picture to the large one so you can have that original one. in case someone wants to see it I'm sure you've been on a website you clicked on the picture it opens up into a nice big page uh, we're going to also want to do that with ours and it's a very easy process we just go to choose file and we're going to go right back to our images folder in our course, in our root com 201 course folder. So once we go into images, I'm going to find the file. Now it looks like the file is not there. Uh, no items match. But what it's looking for is HTML pages. We don't want an HTML page. We want an image file. So we're going to select image files here and find that picture graphic again.
So right here I have Final Picture Project, and I'm going to select Open. So what that means is we've created a smaller version of the image and also a link to the large image. Um, we don't have to create a separate web page or anything else. It's going to do that automatically. It's a nice feature. It's going to open up in a completely new window in case someone wants to save that picture or view that picture. And once you have that, go ahead and select OK. And now you can see here, here's our graphic. I have just, a, again, a, a sample image. Um, and it says here, should be replaced with final project picture. Uh, and then right next to it, you see the cursor blinking. And we're going to go ahead and select that and hit uh, Enter. Uh, and then below that, I want you to put in the, the name of your picture. I'm just going to use the generic name as final project picture. Now that that is listed in here, I'm going to select it, and we're going to go ahead up to our formatting toolbar and put this in a heading to format. So now it's directly below here. We have final picture project or final project picture, and you can put in the name that, that adequately describes this picture uh, here and replace this generic text. And I want to actually link this text to the large image of this this file. So we're going to come up here and we're going to select link. And then here, I'm going to choose the file. So I can, again, choose File. And it's automatically opening me back up into my Images folder you can see here. And I want to go down. We're going to select Image Files, find that image, select Open. And then we're going to select OK. And now, not only is this linked to the picture, but this is also linked to our picture.